Come along with us on an epic adventure along the Swiss Alps, exploring the town of Zermatt and all the breathtaking views of Matterhorn, wandering around wildflowers, picnicking by crystal pools, and checking out all the best vantage points of the King of Mountains, Matterhorn. Hi, my name is Chris, and this is my boyfriend John. Join us as we explore rainforests and skyscrapers, search for wildlife, and enjoy vegan food. Let us share with you our travel guides, vlogs, and vibes. We're on our way to Zamont, which is home to the most famous peak in Switzerland. We're so excited and a little bit nervous about the cold. The water must be so fresh and clean here. This train is so comfy. <laughs> the train ride takes us on a spectacular journey through the scenic Swiss countryside. We pass through small towns, lush green, and waterfalls. It's our first view of the snow-covered Alps. This is one of the most beautiful train rides we've ever taken. We've made it, we're here. Warmer weather than I thought it would be, actually. Zermatt is the highest and largest all-around ski area in the world. This is the cozy little apartment we're going to be staying in for our trip. Whoa, check out our view. So we're here in Zamont. And it's our first day. And Matterhorn is perfectly visible. I know, we were worried about it yeah. because the weather here is so unpredictable. So we're super excited. Our first impressions of the town is that it's so cute and full of character. There it is, Matterhorn. We're so lucky, I can believe it. We're super impressed. And now for some glam shots. Wow. This is amazing already. Just I know, I love it. I love you. We went to a supermarket, which is very vegan friendly. Back at our place, John whipped something up. We're having cherries and yogurt and pine nuts. John's creation. Gourmet. It does look really good. It does, right? That's what it's like. And we have a view of Matterhorn up there. This town is so pretty, it feels like I've stepped into a fairy tale. We're having chocolate and a view of Matterhorn. We're here at the perfect time as the alpine flowers are in bloom. John's doing it the old fashioned way. No, seriously. I don't like the old fashioned way. This statue is modeled after an ibex that was killed in an avalanche. R.I.P. Hey John, have you ever heard the saying, holy macaroni? I need that saying. It's so picturesque here. The wooden houses, the rushing waters, flowers and gardens, and perfect views of Matterhorn make for an enchanting stroll. These villagers made me feel like I just stepped into the Animal Crossing. Hi. They're so cute. They're so cute, I want to liberate them, I feel bad. We've been following the road up the hills to a spectacular vantage point of the town. It's dwarfed by mountains and by the towering majestic crown of Matterhorn. To me, Matterhorn is one of the most stunning mountains in the world. So we're at the top of Zermatt and it's a perfect view of Matterhorn. And the whole town, and wow, that's really special. And we have the whole place to ourselves. As the sun sets, the snow rolls up on the mountains, glimmer more into view. We're at the viewing area. 
Up here the world is so still, and the birds song chirp in harmony with the rest of nature's wonders. Love you, this is so fun. You, Up on the top is Vermont. Another one, love you. It's so cold up here right now, it's like 50 degrees, but it's August and we haven't been used to this kind of weather, so we're freezing. But the views are worth it. I love this view. We took a while to find this, but it's pretty awesome. Now we're strolling the charming little town of Zermatt with all the wooden houses and the Swiss flags and everything. It's so charming. And we're going to dinner to a place that has veg options or it's supposedly vegan. For dinner we found a place called Veggie's Tube where we had some soups which helped warm us up quite a bit. The setting is quite cozy and we had a quinoa dish and a curry. We've only just arrived and I feel like we've seen so much already. We can't wait for tomorrow. Bright and early the next day, we took the rail to the mountain to start of our hike. There's different ways to explore the Swiss Alps. One is by hiking, one is by rail, one is by gondola. We're planning on seeing the best it has to offer by a mixture of all three. Just when I thought the train ride yesterday couldn't be beat, the ascent into the mountains gives us stunning views. It's like the train ride of my dreams. We saw a herd of alpine ibex. Their horns can grow up to 55 inches and they can jump more than 6 feet. We finally made it to our first vantage point. It's cold up here, but we're wearing layers and adrenaline. We are freezing. Oh. <laughs> but the views are awesome. We just saw some playback. It's like a whole herd. But we're really cold. Alright, bye. This is the Kornigrat Kolm Hotel. It's also an observatory. There's even a little church up here. Oh, stop. Oh. It started. Oh, this is amazing. <laughs> so this is the Swiss Alps. It is amazing, truly breathtaking. We've never been to a place like this before. It's otherworldly. The deep pools of blue sink down into the earth. This is the Gorner Glacier, the second largest in the Alps. It is the source of the river Gornera, which flows down through Zermatt itself. The more I look, the more I notice that it's actually really colorful up here. There's hues of blues, the grays shading in the atmosphere. <laughs> the Gornigrat Railway has been operating for more than 120 years. The railway is an electric hog railway which opened in 1898 and operates every day of the year. It's so beautiful up here in this dreaming landscape. The snowy peaks, blue sky, and tranquility brings a sense of peace. 
I am instantly warmed by his beautiful smile. The air is so fresh and clean up here. John was worried that the cold would induce his asthma, but it didn't. He breathed perfectly. John and I put these two rocks here. So we just put two rocks, stacked two rocks up, on, uh, and made a little Jenga puzzle. <laughs> We walked along beautiful wildflowers on the trail. Earlier our excitement created a warmth, but now the sun is coming up stronger, fueling us even more. We're gonna go see Ripple Sea Lake. We're both so excited to see this. Let's go. Come on, faster, faster, it's coming into view. Alright, I guess we can slow down. The journey is part of the experience, so let's take this in. Look who we found. <laughs> They're so cute. They are. Finally here, let's go down for a closer look. We made it! We made it, yeah. We're at Lake Ripple Sea and we're gonna have marks. Yeah, it's epic. Water is so blue, and it's also crystal clear and definitely ice cold. Ooh, peanut butter and jelly. <laughs> this is the perfect spot to have lunch. We are so lucky as the king of the mountains is perfectly reflecting the tranquil waters of the lake. Riffle Sea Lake is famous for creating this mirror effect and framing Matterhorn so central it's perfect. Matterhorn formed millions of years ago when several land masses slammed into one another, forcing the ground upward. Geologists have determined that the hard rock on top of the mountain came from the African continental plate as it smashed into the European plate. Hence, the mountain could technically be considered African. Wow, you could have this all to yourself. It's so cool. It's amazing. I can't believe it's so warm now that we can wear t-shirts. The sky is vast, lined with nature's own skyscrapers. This is our first time taking one of these, and we're a little intimidated. Oh, it's okay. I'll take a speech. What did you think? Scary. It was fun. Myself. No. <laughs> it was fun. It was really scary. No, it's fun. It was fun. fun. Well, let's, let's do another one now. One of these actually takes you across to Italy. Even though he's nervous, I can tell he's enjoying the experience. These cable cars are quite the adventure. We see so many unbelievable views as we rise up into the mountains. They are so modern and comfy. This is so epic. Mm. 
Or to the go up to the glacier paradise. To protect we have the whole gondola to ourselves. Not gondola, all the good things to ourselves. This is the highest cable station in Europe. This is the Matterhorn Glacier Paradise. At this point, we are standing over the Alps. It feels like we're on top of the world. It's freezing up here, the most cold that we've been. The wind is insane and brutal. The Swiss Alps are vast, and Switzerland shares the Alps with France, Italy, Austria, Liechtenstein, Monaco, Germany, and Slovenia. Oh, it's cold it's up here. Cold <sighs> the Glacier Palace is another attraction here. This enchanting place is an ice cave with ice sculptures. We're inside of an ice cave for the first time. And it's cold. These ice sculptures must have been very difficult to make and among them are centuries-old formations. They are also whimsical. After some time, the altitude made me really, really dizzy, so we needed to leave, but I really enjoyed it up here. We're both enjoying these rides now. So we just came from Klein Matterhorn, which is like Little Matterhorn, which has amazing views of a bunch of different mountains. And it was amazing, but very, very cold. So cold. And it's our head started to hurt because of the high altitude and the dizzy. Don't rush yeah. if you feel it, because it's better to walk slow. And now we're on our way down. Look at that view. It's amazing. That's pretty amazing. We're on our way down. I love you. I love you. Hi there, your colors matches my sweater. It's so green down here. The different climates lets us experience many different seasons in just one day. The ground is jeweled in colorful flowers. This is a cobweb house leaf. These cowvetch are poisonous when eaten. The dwarf fireweed is the national flower of Greenland. The fullness of summer in this region is a far cry from the everlasting winter where we just were. Alpine lakes are some of the most abundant types of lake on Earth. In the Swiss Alps alone, there are nearly a thousand alpine lakes, most of which formed after the Little Ice Age. Beautiful roses and candle larkspur bloom in harmony. So there's a goat parade in town. Now it's time for some chocolate. They're very sweet and really creamy. So which was your favorite? The salted caramel. Me too, but they all are really good. Delicious. Cheers. Cheers. It's another day with a full view of Matterhorn. Oh yeah, we get to enjoy another cable ride. Hello. Hey. More views of Matterhorn. Yeah, and it's pretty easy getting up here this morning. Yeah. A, train, a funicular, it's a cable car, to another cable car. Now we're gonna hike down. Top of Rothorn to wherever you are right now. This is Rothorn, one of the highest viewpoints with splendid views. We're so happy to be here at this time when the flowers are in bloom. 
Bursts of blue, purple, and yellow sprout to kiss our feet. Two new larkspur are some of the many blue flowers here. Meanwhile, these prairie smoke flowers sway in the wind. It's so nice to immerse in nature like this. The land is so colossal that we went long stretches without seeing another person. We admired Matterhorn reflecting on Lake Stilisi until the wind blew in and we left with it. Suddenly, the meadow pink flowers joined the harmonic swirls of yellow and blue. So this isn't a bad picnic spot. <laughs> it's awesome. The mountain Annika brings the sunshine. We walked along the trails and sometimes straight off path. Bluebells leaned over rocks, it must get wet here for them to thrive. Shining under the sun's daycare are giant ironweeds. It's so peaceful and tranquil. Nobody gives mountain goats enough credit for their climbing skills. We took in the landscape with all of our senses. Now one last ride in one of these, until next time. Cheers. We visited the museum in town with artifacts and art about Matterhorn and the surrounding regions. They even had rooms that replicated old homes. This is actually bigger than a lot of New York apartments. This rope is from a tragedy of the first ascent of Matterhorn. The story is famous. Seven men got to the top, but only three made it alive. Matterhorn is so iconic, it has been used for many advertisements in media. There's soy milk, but I especially love the condoms. There's also a graveyard here. Over the years, more than 500 people have died trying to climb Matterhorn, making it one of the deadliest peaks in the world. There's so many enchanting gardens here. This is a bridge, a view of Matterhorn, and it's pretty nice. Yeah. The town. For dinner, we went back to the same restaurant and had a hearty meal. On our way up to the viewpoint, we spotted some alpine sea holly. <laughs> we were up here for yeah. sunset. Sunset. Yeah. Well, for yeah, night views. Night views. <clears throat> the magic of the night swept over the town. As the night hours came in, we snuggled until the adventures the next daybreak brought in. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.